right, so now we got all our pictures in here. They're all edited. Um, actually, I'm on a different computer now, and I didn't have those same pictures, so I went online. I went on to googleimages.com or images.google.com or whatever it is. Found these images. That's where I retrieved them from. And when I get all done, I'm going to actually put a slide in here because um, I forgot to do that, giving credit to google.com, showing them that I you know, retrieved them from them. And it's great to show that stuff to your students as well so that they don't claim these as their pictures because they're not. They just got them from the internet or from wherever. Now if they're actual photos of themselves, it's so different. Um, so make sure you give credit where credit is due. Um, and the text, okay? So now we're into the text. We're going to put all the text in. That's the next step after we put the pictures in and edit them. So I have been teaching my students to type in Word. Now this is my story, so I just typed in here. Um, but now I fixed all my grammatical errors, spell checked it, all that stuff, fixed all my things. So now, one thing at a time here, this is what I want on the first page. So I highlight it, right click, copy, Let's go back to my photo story here. Oops, let's delete that. Right click, paste. Now you'll see it's pretty small here and you can't even see it on the screen. So we need to change it. And here's where you can choose the color. I'm going to go with white since we got the white and black going here. I want bold, nice and big. And maybe it's at 816 now. I'll try 28. And let's see what that looks like. 28, too big. Okay, so let's go back in here again. Let's try 22. Oh, perfect. Now, I can either put this at the top of the screen, bottom of the screen, or middle, or bottom. I'm going to go to the top, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. Because I really want attitude adjustment at the top. I'm going to enter, 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 enter. Perfect. So all I just kept hitting enter to lower the, the you know, whatever, me. Okay. And then I go to the next slide. Actually, I think, yeah, next. No, back. Not the next button. Just click on the next picture. Now I put my text in for this picture. So, Spongebob, let's go back to our Microsoft Word. Okay, right click, copy. Oops, let's paste. Um, that's not too bad, let's put it at the bottom. And it's kind of hard to see, maybe the top, I don't know. And maybe we'll just go here and bold it so it's a little easier to see. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Better. Now I want it at the bottom. Okay. Go to my next picture. Copy. Delete. Paste. Oops, I wasn't real happy, but you can keep editing it as you want. I'm just going to go try to go a little faster here. ELA teacher, I'm not happy either. Copy. Delete it. Paste it. And I'm just going to keep going fast here. Next one. Uh, back to Word. Copy. Paste. Hmm. Something happened here. Let's see what's going on. Oh no, it just put it all in one line instead of returning it. But it still showed up here. Can't read any of it. So I need to definitely bold it. And then maybe make it a little bigger. 
check that out. I can't read it still. Maybe I need to turn it white. Maybe we could read it if we turn it into white text here. There. I can read it okay. Alright, now I'm ready to move on. So I've put my text in each. Um, I haven't added the slide, but I will. So I hit next. Now I'm ready for the next step. Now what I get to do is when I hit record narration, I will simply walk through each slide. So it'll like start here. I say what I want to say. I click the next one. I say what I want to say. I say what I want to say until I'm all done and hit the stop button. And that'll be in the next tutorial. Thanks.